up guys, this is the Codfather back again. Today is my tips and tricks video for the Modern Warfare beta. Uh, as you know, we have three free beta weekends coming up. You guys should get in there and download it and play. Give your feedback, you know, try it out. Be aggressive, have a good time. Um, this is a quick tips video. Uh, first tip, obviously, go to your settings. Set up your settings if you've played Call of Duty before. Set up to the sensitivities you're used to. Uh, check to make sure that your uh, aim assist is probably at standard and not at the uh, focused one. Standard felt more comfortable to me than focused. Um, I try to make things pretty much uh, all around the same in every game, and that's how I try to keep my or my gameplay consistent. Um, second tip being, uh, when you first load into the game, I'd probably use the uh, starter creator or starter class that has the AUG silencer and ghost on it. Uh, radar and personal radar are very spammed in this game and they're very much needed because we don't have a mini map so it's just nice to have uh, ghost on when you need it and ghost works even when you're not moving which is also kind of annoying but also kind of good at the same time um, one of the other things I would uh, tell you to look out for in your settings is also the uh, sound settings and your brightness. Turn your brightness up. I have mine up at like 75, 80% because this game is very dark. It's very dreary. And I can already imagine people are starting to figure that out and starting to hide in dark corners and shoot people from unsuspecting spots and things like that. So turn that up a little bit. Make sure you can see some darker spots a little bit more easily and a little bit more nicely. For the sound settings, just set them somewhere that's comfortable for you. I use headphones one, I think, right now, but I haven't really uh, fully tested the difference between all of the other options. Uh, hopefully, when the real game launches, they'll have a, uh, a better description or any description for them when that happens, but we'll see how that works out. Uh, another tip for, creative, or for multiplayer in general is be careful where you sprint. If you're caught sprinting, you're probably dead. So sprint corner to corner or sprint like, you know, sightline to sightline, but don't get caught sprinting because basically then you're caught with your pants down. Uh, for objective game modes like headquarters and dom and things like that, uh, be careful of the teammates you're playing with. Uh, for me, in my personal experience, I had a couple teammates who weren't pushing the objective, who weren't even pushing out of our spawns, and they're just sitting back trying to, I don't know, pick off kills, get kill streaks. I don't know what the deal was, uh, whatever the case may be. But the spawn system is different in this game, and instead of, like, spawning you in an area, it actually forcibly respawns you next to, like, a squad mate, kind of Battlefield style-esque, except much faster. Uh, with that said, yes, that sounds nice. You get to spawn next to an enemy, but also it's bad because if your team doesn't push out, you're literally creating a spawn bubble or pool where you're consistently getting killed two feet out of a spawn because your team's not pushing out. So that can be a potential problem. That should be something that should be looked at, but this also should be something that you should be aware of. Uh, another tip, squad up. Squatting up, I cannot reinforce that tip more. Uh, two, three-man, four-man team, do it. Squad up. It'll make the game a little bit more enjoyable. Uh, you guys can, can learn callouts. Uh, the nice part about this game is at the top of the screen, they actually have the call-out sign for the location you're in, uh, besides the, uh, the the compass direction, but they actually have a call-out sign. Like right there, it's a dockyard. So keep that in mind. Learn the maps, patrol, You know, get better as a team, do things like that. Uh, fourth tip for you. Make sure that if you don't have Ghost on, you're carrying a rocket launcher so you can hopefully take down those personal radars and UAVs. And the best part about them is if you take them down, I'm pretty sure they give you score towards your next kill streak, which is quite nice. Your next tip will be always keep your head on a swivel. Keep looking, keep looking out for movement, keep looking out for enemies. Uh, the spawns are very random, the map is very random. Not having a mini map doesn't help both those things. It makes it harder to coordinate where gunfights are happening, where teammates are dying, where, uh, the, I don't know, uh, stalemates are happening, where flank routes can be had, where plays can be made. So just keep very aware, keep pushing, keep keep moving. It makes it a little bit easier. On the bigger maps, you can probably camp a little bit more. And maybe in some of the objectives, you can probably do stand back a little bit more. But in TDM, keep your head on a swivel because it's going to be nuts out there. It's super aggressive. Uh, as for other things and other uh, tips and tricks for that matter, 
Beware of the weapons you're using and what class they are and the attachments you have on them. Sometimes less is more with the attachments because this time around, attachments have negatives tied to them. So some of the negatives could be slower aimed on sight speeds, which can really screw up your game or make a weapon per perform increasingly different. So just be aware of that. And also, if you're running around with like a sub or an assault rifle, make sure you're in the appropriate range. Like me, for the shotguns, I like to stick in close range sections of the map and just pick people off as hard as I can. So just keep that in mind. One last and final tip today, just enjoy it. Have fun. None of these things count. None of the stats count. Just go out there, play aggressive, have a good time, get some feedback in. And as for now, this is your boy Hell Raider, signing off.